Hello and welcome to Thomas Geiger car. Today with a special glimpse into the future of the Porsche Panamera. Because to bridge the gap in towards the electric future, Porsche has redesigned and remodeled its flagship Gran Turismo one more time. It looks familiar, but it is completely new. That's at least what the engineers are telling me. Only the doors are a carryover part from the old model. Every other piece of sheet metal is new and the technology underneath is also new. And if you want to know what to expect from that technology and what to expect from the car that hits the market early next year, join me on my first drive with the engineers and I'll tell you all about it. I'm sorry I can't show you too much of the interior of the car since we're almost half a year away from the world premiere and even more distance to the market launch early next year. But at least I can tell you what the engineer thought when they developed the new Panamera. The car has a wider range of capabilities by now. We have a new suspension that maximizes the both ends of the bookmark. So the car is more comfortable, a more relaxed cruiser. And if you want to, it is more aggressive and more dynamic. It has a new sound, even the base model, the V6, has now a really wonderful voluminous sound that sounds like a six cylinder and just is fun to drive, especially if you switch through the different modes and go up to sport or sport plus mode. And most of all, we have a totally new interior. As I said, I can't show you, but I can tell you and you don't need too much fantasy if you look into the recently launched Cayenne update or if you look into the Taycan I guess you get a pretty good idea of what to expect in the Panamera and that means also the passenger has its own infotainment system and can use some fun during the drive. Something you have to say goodbye to and you realize that even with the camouflaged interior is the traditional gear lever. To gain space on the center console to find room for charging your phone and all the other stuff, they removed the gear lever and put it into the dashboard as you know it from Taycan and Cayenne. Talking about infotainment, the newest software versions that you already know lots of updates and upgrades for the driver assistant system up to level two but no details on that yet but pretty promising drive and hey there is a reason to come back in a few weeks when we can show you all of the car we've been talking a lot about digitalization about interior about style about comfort but hey we're talking about a porsche and the most important part of a porsche is the engine in this case, it is a V8 turbocharged engine combined with an electric motor and a battery. This is the range topping plug-in hybrid, the Turbo E hybrid, delivering more power and most of all, more torque than ever before. We're talking about more than 900 Newton meters and that's not the end of the story. There might be another V8 plug-in hybrid in the horizon with way more than 700 horsepower and I assume a four digit figure of the torque. Talking about the electric component of the plug-in hybrids, we're talking about an increase of power from 100 to 140 kilowatts for the electric motor and a new cooling system for the electric motor. It's integrated in the oil cooling circle of the gearbox giving it more stability and more durability so you can use that electric power way more often than before. There's another reason why you can use the electric power of more often than before. It's the bigger battery. It increased from roughly 17 to roughly 26 kilowatt hours and you can charge it faster than before. Now with 11 kilowatts so the charging time will be roughly the same and in the most efficient mode and model you can obtain more than 90 kilometers of electric range. So we're talking about the V8 plug-in hybrid and we're talking about a V6 plug-in hybrid as well. At the end we will have four plug-in hybrids and we will have 
regular petrol engines. Base model is the 2.9 liter V6 twin turbo, which delivered 340 horsepower in the past and which will come with a significant power upgrade as well. So lots to look forward to, lots to drive, stay tuned. Thanks for joining me on that first engineer's drive with the prototypes of the new Porsche Panamera, a car that perfectly bridges the gap towards the electric future. It's kind of saving the best for last. It has all it needs to drive for another five, six, seven, eight years until the last petrol engine will be ignited. It looks better than before. It is more comfortable and more sporty than before. It has a digitalized interior and if you're keen on electric driving, you can drive more electric than ever before in a Panamera due to the more powerful electric motors and the bigger battery. So well done and I can't wait to see the car without disguise and to go on a proper test drive on my own. Thank you, Shishye, Saichen and goodbye.